All right, just wanted to do a video responding to this lying devil here, uh, Uriah1611. Let me just zoom in in the comments. Uh, he's a lying devil. I don't believe the guy is saved. He could just be a troll, but either way, he's a false accuser and just a, a out and out railer against brethren who simply just disagree with Brian. He's running around the comment section calling people lost if they just voice speak against Brian Dillinger. He's wicked. And if he is, you know, claimed to be a Christian, he's a false convert. He's lost. He's not saved. I don't believe he is. But he says, this is in the, in the comments of JT Does, another prideful, high-minded, false teacher who has no business being in ministry. I did the rebuke of him. He's in the comments of JT's video saying, Tim is still friends with Lost Maze. That says all about him. I told last, Tim last year on his fake channel that he is a lying devil. Because he spoke against Brian Dillinger, that makes him a lying devil. Hello, cult. I, spent, I stand by my comment. Funny how he takes my comments off his channel when you expose him. He took your comments off because you're just causing discord and showing strife. Okay, You're showing discord and strife in the comments. You, you lying, false, accusing devil. Okay, May the Lord rebuke you. Okay, And may the Lord shut your lying mouth if you don't repent. Okay, Tim is not lost because he's going to be spoken against Brian Dilling or your little pope. You see, cult leaders, cult members don't like it when you speak against their cult leader. Scientology is no different. Catholic, the Catholic Church is no different. You know, these deadly are this deadly are called. They're just as wicked as the Roman Catholic Church. And this Uriah 1611 devil, um, he's a papist. Okay, we're gonna get into some screenshots of correspondence I had with him in the comments of Tim's video, and he responded to me where I said that he is, you know, he's a false, you know, he's a false accuser, he's a liar. He said to me, I did see it, Mr. Catholic. So he calls me a Catholic for simply just speaking against Brian, apparently. You know, he says, I liked how Tim deleted my comments. I wonder why the truth hurts, huh? Got all your lying devils with your pants down. What, because we spoke against Brian that make us lying devils? No, you're the lying devil, you rise 1611. Then I respond with, now you're falsely accusing me of being a Catholic. So anyone who speaks against Brian is a Catholic, you need to repent of your false accusations. And I quote Proverbs 6, 16 and 19. Grow up, just because someone disagrees with Brian doesn't mean that person is lost or a Jesuit. It's ironic because Denlinger's followers be act and behave a lot like Catholics when they deal with people who disagree. Exactly. And I stand by that comment too. Then I leave this other comment where I say, get over yourself. So anyone who speaks against Denlinger is a lying devil. You need to repent and get right with God. This is exactly why Brian is called a cult leader, which he is. Okay? Because all of his little followers and idolaters and his idolaters, exactly, he has followers that just idolize him. I just call them Brian Dillinger idolaters because they are idolaters. They're idolizing Brian Dillinger. All of his little idolaters call people lost for simply disagreeing with Brian. Face it, Dillinger is a cult leader. Let's face it, you, you people are becoming the very Catholic cult you hate. You need to repent your, your uh, railing false accusations. And I quote again, Proverbs 6, 16 and 19, which talks about how God hates, you know, false witness that, that speaketh lies. Then he says back to me, you're a Catholic, get saved. Brian has nothing to do with this. You're doing the same thing as Ed's cult. You blame Brian for everything. Take responsibility and repent, Mark 2, 17. Um, how about you just admit the fact that Brian is not fa infallible, okay? And how about you just admit the fact that Brian is not some kind of pope where he has this infallibility and anyone who questions him is somehow lost. It's a cult. No way, nice way to put it, okay? When you speak, so when you speak against Brian Dillinger, that makes you lost, apparently, you know? That is the definition of a cult. And he also says back to me, you're a Catholic, get saved. And I say back to him, you're a wicked liar and a false accuser and so of discord who just throws around railing accusations, need to repent. Brian being an elder does not make him above receiving correction. You're a liar and a false accuser and a cult idolater of Brian Dillinger who thinks people are lost if they speak against Brian. You have no proof that I'm a Catholic other than that, that I spoke against your Pope, Brian Dillinger. You have, I said to him, you need some severe chastening and milk of the word and need to repent and get right with God. And I take, I don't stand by that comment because I think the guy's lost. I i don't believe the guy's saved. Because for him, they'd just be that, just throw on railing accusations like that. I mean, who else was an accuser of the brethren? Okay, Revelation 12, 10, Satan is an accuser of the brethren. This Uriah 1611 devil, he's an accuser of the brethren, just like his father, Satan. And I say to him, grow, grow up, you're still behaving like a Catholic, calling people lost and devils for speaking against your Pope. Brian is super wicked and shows you want to call people lost. And you wish people who speak against Brian are lost. Repent, you wicked false accuser. And I quote Proverbs 6 again. Okay, And this Uriah 1611 guy, he needs to repent. He's a lying devil. He's a false accuser. He is very, um, he's just a deceiver. That's simple. He runs around in the comment section calling you lost if you simply question Brian. It's wicked. He's a wicked devil. He needs to repent and get saved. And if he doesn't repent, I pray the Lord shuts his lying mouth. 
But Proverbs 14, 5, A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. If this Uriah 1611 uh, rotten devil that he is, if he was a faithful witness, he would not utter any lies. He would just accept the fact that people break fellowship with Brian, people disagree with Brian, and just move on. But no, he can't. He just, the cult can't stand it when you speak against their cult leader. That, that, that simple. Uh, Proverbs 14, 25. A true witness delivers souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. He is not delivering souls, okay? What I mean by that is that he wants to call you lost if you simply just speak against his Pope, Brian Dillinger. It's wicked. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 9. And I cover these scriptures in my rebuke of the prideful novice J.T. does, but I'm going to cover this one again. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not perish. That's Proverbs 19, 9. Okay? This Uriah 16, 11 lying devil that he is, he's going to be punished. And I pray for the, for the uh, chastening of God if he is saved, which is highly unlikely. I pray for the chastening of God to come upon him. And if he's not saved, I pray the Lord shuts his lying mouth if he doesn't repent. Uh, Proverbs sorry, 19, 5. There's a couple verses below. Proverbs 19, 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Exactly. A good verse to end this off is Acts chapter. And now, the reason why I'm sounding kind of mad is because this rotten devil, Uriah 1611, he's falsely accusing my brother in Christ, Timothy Conan. He's falsely accusing him, he's throwing out lies against him, and, you know, I feel obligated to defend my brother in Christ. That simple. You know, I don't like it when you have rotten devils like this, like this Uriah 1611 guy falsely accusing my brothers in Christ. Uh, Acts 1310, uh, and said, and said, O false. Oh, full of all subtlety uh, and, of, and all mischief. I apologize, I'm not good at reading on a computer. It gives me eye strain. I had to get some of those blue light glasses. Oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Exactly. This Uriah 1611 guy, he's a child of Satan. He's a child of the devil. That's simple. In the lust of his father, he does. He's a liar. And Satan is a liar from the beginning. Okay? He's of his father, the devil. See John 8, 44. He's a false accuser, and he just could be some troll, could just be an atheist troll or whatever. But either way, he's a lying, he's a lying, false accusing devil. That's simple. So, just wanted to do that. This is a public rebuke. So, Uriah sixteen eleven, uh, you need to repent and get saved. And if you don't repent, I pray for the Lord to come to pour out His wrath upon you. Okay, and if it doesn't happen now, I pray that it happens during the time of Jacob's trouble. I do pray you get saved. I do pray you repent. You know, I don't want to see wrath come upon anyone. But if you don't get saved, may the wrath of God come upon you. Okay? And to all the brethren out there that this lying devil, Uriah 1611, might have accused, this Uriah 1611, kind of a tongue twister, might have accused, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And to all the brethren out there, goodbye. Thank you.